Peace family, what's up y'all, what's up? I am, I am still in Kenya, in the motherland y'all. Okay, so I am chilling at my new place, but y'all check, this is one of the things that, one of the, my purchases from the market. Isn't it pretty? Stay tuned y'all, stay tuned. It's very, it's cool, it's breezy. Like, these Daris are like... I, I mean, I love it. Like, this is my new wardrobe. One a day. I bought so many at the market yesterday because I know that that's what I, what I will be wearing because I'm on the coastal region. So, when the coastal region, it, it is hot. There is a breeze, though, but it gets very, very hot. So, you, you do want, want to wear, you know, like thin clothing. Now, I cannot describe the heat. Um, it is humid. I would say like Louisiana, you know, they have the humidity here. Um, but it, and, and yesterday I was sweating, you know, even in the market, I was sweating yesterday, but it wasn't a miserable, like, I wasn't like, dang, it's hot out here. You know how, um, like those of you from new Orleans, you know, going outside or whatever, it's like, dang, it's hot out here today. I didn't feel that. And I think because of the breeze that constantly comes through, I was sweating, but did not feel miserable. I don't know how to explain that. So, but wearing things like this in the coastal region is very, very common. You know, not unless um, you are one of the Swahili women or Muslim women who wear, you know, everything, you know, head, everything covered. So, yeah, this is one of my purchases. But I want to, I want to show y'all um, where I'm gonna be crashing. Not crashing. I know y'all ain't think I was gonna be at that resort this whole time. I can't afford that. <laughs> I know y'all ain't think I was going to be at that resort the whole time. But this is the next best thing because I do like my apartment. So, let me. Okay. This is the. I'm going to take y'all to the front door first. I still have suitcases and stuff everywhere. So, that's the front door. This is the guest bathroom. Guest bathroom. And here's the kitchen. Breakfast bar, as we call it. The cooker, as they call it. <laughs> and this is the washroom. So here in Kenya, um, it is common for um, like the house help or even you or whoever to wash clothes by hand. So this is how this is where they do laundry and wash clothes, and I think they still they hang them up. But I don't know where. Oh, they, oh, here it is. Here's the line back here. Okay. Um, now, all of the homes in Kenya um, are not set up like this. As a matter of fact, when I spent the night in Nairobi, the Airbnb that I was at had a wash and dryer. So some homes have wash and dryers and then you have some homes that do not. Now, I do have um I do have house help. So she will be she will cook for me, she will clean for me, she will iron for me and do all of the, you know, do all of all of those things. That is it's common practice here to have house help. I am so grateful when she introduced herself to me. When that girl introduced herself to me, it said, oh, I cook, I clean, I do your laundry, I do. My eyes turned into hearts. <laughs> I started hearing love songs in the background. Like, I was like, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> but y'all, do you know, let me say this. Because y'all know in America, uh, it's very, very, very expensive. You know, like, you know, you think people with money or whatever the case may be. But it is common practice in Kenya. Even um, a lot of the apartments, they have an extra room for your 
um, house help. Okay, um, even in homes, they may have like a they may build like an extra small house for your um, house help because basically everybody wins, and it's not I don't, to me people who are skilled, um, people who are very skilled in domestic things. Like I know how to cook and all of that, but y'all, I work. And I'm going to be hustling even more. So when you are working, 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 you really do need help. Even I'm, I'm going to even say for like husband and wives, you know, like I hear so many women complaining about, you know, my husband, you know, you know, I have to work, get off from work, pick up the pick up the kids from school, have to help the kids with the homework, have to cook dinner have to clean up, have to do the laundry, have to do all of those things, and that's not a good quality of life. And so there is, it is a gift. If, if people who, um, who's really good um, with um, domestic, have good domestic skills and that sort of thing, that is, that's good. And, and the women and the men here who are house help, this is how they make their money. It's nothing looked down upon. Like, this is how these people make their money. It's a blessing to have that gift because that's how they make their money. This is nothing new. It has existed in ancient times. It existed in biblical days, right? So this is nothing new. And I just, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I can be a workaholic and I really could use the extra help. And so the way that we work and we grind in the United States, y'all, like, you know, men and women having to work and do all of these different things, y'all. By the time you finish with it, and I'm, I'm just using this as an example with women. I'm just going to use this as an example. Especially if you have a husband that may be, I don't know, annoyed at you or feel like you're supposed to cook, you're supposed to clean if you're the wife, right? But you all, but, but also expect for you to work. So, and help the child, you know, with the homework and all this stuff. So if you are, if you have that, you have to cook, you have to clean, you have to do all of those things. You are so tired, you can't even fulfill your wifely duties you know, with your husband. So then you get, you know, blamed for that too, right? And so, listen, y'all, like, I believe that there's things that we could offer our continental brothers and sisters, and there's, a, there's ways of life that they have to offer us as well. So this is one of them. I didn't mean to go in on that, but, yeah, I fell in love. I fell in love. Okay, this is the kitchen. Um, this is the living room. It's the balcony. Y'all know I be looking, make sure I don't see the monkeys. This is beautiful. Oh my God. And look how pretty it is here. Oh my God. Okay. Um, okay. It's a bedroom. Oh, okay, chocolate. I see you. About to take a take a swim. Okay, there you go. There's the pool. And most um homes, I think it's not just at, most homes, not just in Africa, but outside of the United States, they have these wardrobes. I remember when we lived in Germany, we had, we had one. So they don't normally build closets. Probably maybe your more modern homes now um, here in Africa, maybe they're starting to build closets, but they normally do wardrobes. I only have one dress hanging up. That's how much unpacking I've done. Y'all, I just got here about maybe 
an hour and a half ago, two hours. This is the other bathroom. And so, oh, vanity. Um, I haven't one air. I have an air conditioner, but it's only in this room because I'm on the coast, y'all. There's a breeze. All the windows are open, and there are there is a breeze that going through that's going through the apartment. I am one that do not like to be hot, but I can honestly say it feels good. They have ceiling fans, and all of the windows are open. It feels so good because I'm about maybe five minutes from the beach, and so there's just this constant breeze. And I think that's probably why. Um, I'm not too, I don't get, I, I'm, I sweat, I'm sweating like crazy when I'm outside. Like yesterday at the market, I was sweating like crazy. But once I sit down and start feeling the breeze, I'm cool, you know. And so at nighttime, if I don't want to, you know, have the windows open, although all the windows are, they have screens on it and mosquitoes and that sort of thing won't get in. If I don't want to sleep with these windows open, I can always just turn on the air. And this is how the air, air condition looked when I was at the resort. And it gets really, really, really cold. So, yeah. Yes. So, yep. Yeah. So, that is my apartment tour. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Peace. Wait, did I, did I show y'all the balcony? Because I got sidetracked giving y'all that long speech that's the balcony i think i showed y'all oh i think i did i did show y'all the balcony but anyway okay y'all peace bye or shall i say quahari